Hi everybody, it's Nadia Rowe here and I'm bringing to you my empties and these are products that I've used up over the past few months and I just save everything and then bring it to you guys. So guys, if you're new to this channel, would love you to hit the subscribe button and tap the bell. This look will either have been out or will be coming out, depending on what was my previous video. Because sometimes I just do what I want. <laughs> like I said, I don't do these regular. There is a lot here. But these are products that I've enjoyed or I've not enjoyed. And I'm going to give you a brief description on what I didn't enjoy and if whether or not I just go I like it I use it I've got a backup some I will go into further depths with but sometimes for me empties can be a bit repetitive you know I can go into ingredients and why I enjoyed using it and blah 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 the reason that it's empty is because I enjoyed it so I think I'm gonna dive in with this is the Herbal Essence Beautiful End Shampoo. This does come quite regular in my stash and the reason I put this in is so that people that don't use Lush Bars like I do, this is what I would use or dove for my hair if I was using traditional shampoos and they smell nice, they clean your hair, it works wonderful and like I said, the scents it's so nice yeah it is really really good i've used up a naturals so this is the coconut and star fits scented spritz and with this i just whenever i'm just feeling a little bit not sweaty but hot because we have been having quite a bit of hot weather i just spritz it it cools me down it makes me nice i feel nice with it and I've got a few of these on backup, so would repurchase again. But yeah, this is from Avon. So, or oh, was a bar of soap. This was so nice. If you saw the little black dots in it that it's got, it felt like it was giving your hands a scrub instead of just a wash and everybody commented on the soap whenever they obviously used the soap to go toilet because that's where the soap was and yeah i'd honestly really purchased this didn't think i would when i bought it but yeah this this is one of my favorite soaps so i've used up the feminine in intimate hygiene wipes these have actually dried out now don't use them regular but sometimes you just want to freshen up especially when it's the month so that's what they were used for again i would repurchase these have repurchased these and it just it, you just feel so i know fresh yeah these have been quite handy so i've used up my super drug bone healthy vitamin d I actually bought three of these they've all gone um i must buy some more to be honest with you the vitamin d tablets self-explanatory i think for that one i've also used up the palm aroma moment so vibrant so f palm olive and this smells so sweet tangy orange flavor it's so nice and I love the palm olive range and you can get it for a pound so it's cheap it's nice it's a good shower gel and it's just really nice I just you know sometimes I just can't think what I want to say going on the same theory of the shampoo this is the conditioner and this conditioner is so thick and creamy which is what you want but it also rinses out really nicely leaves your hair super soft at the moment i'm trying to do the uh curly curls method but this is my hair naturally except for normally it drops out um so what i've been using is some other stuff to 
just bring it back to life and I, I like the results of it so I don't I don't have to worry about if it's got paraffin in it or parapins or whatever it's called or alcohol I just I do like this this is a really nice one it goes with shampoo again my daughter uses this up but again these are always in my empties because they are a stable to my diet <laughs> not diet to, to my household so i would 100 percent repurchase this um at the moment i've put in my bathroom after the other soap finish was the body shop body shop frosted plum soap this is the packaging guys this is so nice and so soft and your hands smell gorgeous for starters but when i mean soft the soap when you rub your hands in the soap and just wash them and you know you've washed them they just mm, it is so nice and i will be repurchasing this when the shops reopen properly this is a definite so i've used up one of the mud mud mask after mask vitamin serum extra smoothing anti-aging feeding protection and nourishing and this is just it's just a white cream and you just put it on and it it soaks into your skin so nicely just didn't realize how much came out and i would buy it again but i've got a lot of serums that i want to use up so until i've used them all up i'm not picking a serum that i like until i have used all the serums up and then i can go right i specifically like x y and z i'm not saying this is a bad bad bomb but i do like the ordinary range so it could be that over this but i'm not not mad if you get what i mean i've used up one of the foot lotions creamy face trade original butter gentle marshmallows rue and lavender what an amazing, what an appealing feeling. So this is this softy and this is from the body shop. I didn't like this scent on this. So to use it up, I know it's for feet, but I just used it on my legs. So that's how I used it. Wouldn't repurchase it at all. I've then got one of these fruits. This is blueberry and Merlot cherry fragrant explosion this smells gorgeous and i mean gorgeous these are a pound and i would repurchase have repurchased but i've realized i've got a box full under my bed of scrubs so i need to pull them out but these but once that's gone these are what i'm going to go for because these are perfect for my legs to exfoliate to get rid of all the rubbish and it and they're really nice and because there is little bits in it it's not too harsh if you're not into that harsh life so this is really really nice for exfoliating so i've used up a box of the lights tenor tenor lights long liners these are really really handy and again they're feminine products they fit perfectly and they I don't feel like I've got one in and you know if you're in the middle of that, that time of the month and it is not quite right because we all know when we're not quite right but some still comes out this is what I use it for so beautiful product worth the money and I always try and buy the big boxes this is the raspberry kiss body scrub and don't know where i think i might have got this out of it's from wilco's it's one or the other but again this was really nice and i used this with on my legs but also as part of my foot scrub treatment same as with the other one same as with the fruits one they go so well with my foot scrub and when i say foot scrub i'll show you up because i've got a dirty one and this is what i use it's called a foot sponge and this is what gets rid of my hard skin it's the only thing that does but i just use as long as it's got beads in i use it on 
my feet. No point in using just shower gel. I could, but this gives this elevates this to a higher degree than if I just use shower gel. And yes, I've repurchased this, and yes, it'll always be uh, something that I repurchase. As you know, or if you don't watch my video, my eldest daughter is um, not a college uni at the moment. My eldest daughter's not a uni at the moment because of what everything's happening. So she asked me to pick up um, the an air dye for her. And I went for SB1 because she wanted it as light as possible. Her roots aren't as dark as mine. Mine looks quite dark. But I used to use this all the time and I swore by it. Absolutely swore by it. And part of her airy door it was already blonde. We used this and I'd say she was dark brown blonde to light brown. So she was like the second one across. So technically she should have come out like this. She came out ginger. She came out ginger. We had to go and get another one for her and I got the SB2. She looks more like this now. I like nice and easy. It's the only one that I will honestly go back and buy time and time again. It's not like you're bleaching your hair. So, and because it, it's got the three tones in it, it doesn't make your hair look flat. It, you know, it looks nice. So, but having the extra one helped. She's definitely 100%. Got blonde hair now. This is a household item. And this is the uh, confidential room is always inviting. And this is the relaxing zen. And this is what it looks like. And it's just one of them, it's just a 30, I put it on 38, 36 minutes, sorry. Tis, tis. It's only weird way I can describe it, it just goes tis. Uh, I love these, every room in my house has got one, every room. Even my little hallway, if you could call it a hallway. They are everywhere. I, I highly recommend and I paid £5 for these for this with a can and they wanted they've now gone up to 12 pound so that was a bargain in itself but although i don't buy these contraptions i do buy the tins so we've used up this max white charcoal gentle minimal scrubbing from colgate and i did buy this for my teeth but then this tooth um, because of the whitening um, I did have a chip in it and I was supposed to have it taken out or root canaled in March I couldn't use this so my, my eldest has used this up I've used it before I will be buying it again it's a product that I know works really really well especially because I'm a big tea drinker this is something that I would honestly say if you're a tea drinker, you've got stains on your teeth, this helps. I also still have to use my Sensodyne one because I've got sensitive teeth, but I alternate. So I used up this Relax Bath and Let Go Sanctuary Spa. I think I got this in a uh, glossy box. Didn't like it at all. It's just a salt scrub, but it was a pain. I couldn't even with coffee scrubs I can pour them into tubs but with this I couldn't and it was just a no go no go I suppose if you get in a nice jar won't be so bad but in the packet no and this was nice for I like to do hard scrubs like this on my arms uh, to really get that dead skin off but I wouldn't repurchase this so this was full of baby oil and just thought I couldn't tell you that I've used it up. I've repurchased more baby oil because after exfoliating and then washing myself, this puts all the hydration back into me. This will be kept to be refilled with a new one. Let's go through a project I, I hated. 
this is the tango invigorating shower gel apple and as you can see i've used that much i tried to persevere guys with this I really did this smells disgusting it's it's not apple and it's not invigorating it's not anything it just wants thrown in the bin that's how much i dislike this product and i try not to waste anything and i mean try not to if i don't like it you can normally tell and i've given it a good shot so this is just going straight in the bin so i've used up one of my pro enamel sensodynes I always have these in my empties. I love them. It's one of the only ones that stops my sensitive teeth. I've tried the Sensodyne Normal, Sensodyne this, Sens no. It's got to be the one with the green cap. I have mistakenly brought the white cap, but this is the one. I've also used up the Natural White Activated Charcoal. This was used up before um my tooth got as bad as what it did because this box has been sitting around for quite a while until i got a good amount to come to you use it it's gone you can't squeeze any more out of it it looks like it can but it's just it i would repurchase i like my black toothpaste because it makes my teeth whiter again i've got another one of the because this has got mums on it sensodyne um the reason it's got mums on it is because my daughter had one this is the white cat one this is the one that i don't like still used it but i was going through all three or four at the same time so that's why i've used one of the fortune cookies body mist this was in buddy um it's got a little bit left at the bottom but you have to tip it at an angle you have to make sure the nozzle's the right way and oh it's so nice and cool it you know summer days or when you're that hot it smells nice it rubs in nice it's like just to refresh your body i love it i really really do um <coughs> she says that it jokes up would 100 percent repurchase but i'm not paying to have it shipped because it's from america and it's expensive i've also used up another palm olive you have to be mine there is um a couple of three people in this house at the moment so things are getting used up a little bit quicker um so i've used another palm olive one again as i said i've got backups to purchase this yes would use it smells gorgeous really does compared to that other one it's it's just a winner i've used up some cotton wool pads i only use these to remove my nail varnish with i don't use them for unless i take my face which isn't very often um i take my makeup off a double cleanse and then generally i just put my moisture back in i finished up the nivea double effect makeup remover that's what it looks like I have got a backup of this, but I prefer the Clinique Balm that is so much better than this. I, I rate this over micellar waters 100%, but I've got no use in my life for micellar water. So I've used up this Good Zombie from, it's Aloe Me Body Whip from the Fortune Cookie. It's all used up. It comes like that. It's all used up. And this was smelled beautiful, really did. Really like this scent. scent. But again, because I use oil on my arms, I put this on my legs. The Aussie Deep Treatment 3 Miracle Reconstructive Mask. Now, again, I haven't used this. My daughter used this. I've used it over the years before I got into my Lush. But I do know this is absolutely amazing because her ear is so long it touches, touches her bum and it gets tangled and same as with anybody's long ear, it gets tangled up and she puts this on in the shower, leaves it for the three minutes and she can just put a comb through. And I always say that with even your conditioner, 
if you've got a wide tooth comb, just go through it in the shower because then when you get out of the shower, your hair is so, it's not knotty, it's not anything. I've done it since the girls were little and they still carry it on to this day. It just makes it better so that when you do get out of the shower, you're not pulling all your wet hair 100% and she has repurchased this. I've used up the original Champagne's Barefoot Beautiful Restoring Foot Butter. Now, if I didn't know how expensive this was, which I do, I would 100% repurchase this because this was one of the best foot scrubs, foot creams, sorry, that I have used. Um, it looks like this. I got every last single little molecule out of this because it was so good but i do know it's expensive i would repurchase the smell was nice it was lovely so it's a bit of a do or don't a job i've used up a i believe gel buy these from the pound shop normally and this is what the pound shop one was like go through these because i'm a fiber manager um because then it tells me whether it's my muscles, which is then it's my fibre, or if it's just strain, and these just tell me the difference, basically. Again, repurchases constantly. So this is Sympathy for the Skin Hand and Body Lotion from the Body Shop. I don't know whether this went out of date. It definitely is now because it's been in here a few months. But this smells like calamine lotion now. I stopped using it. As you could tell, there's quite a bit in there. I couldn't use it anymore. I really, really couldn't use it anymore. Wouldn't ever, ever repurchase. This is my carrot soap. I've used this up, obviously. And the reason why I show you these little bits is because I put them in a hemp bag. And it just makes another bar of soap burn mixture for you little bits. So that's why I keep them and then I put them in. Um, would I buy it again? Yes, because I love flush soap and they last a long time. I've used up, I've really got a bit of the condition, uh, shampoo, but this is the yellow shampoo bar. Again, something that I use constantly. Shampoo bars, they last me six to eight months, depending, but we'll always buy them. I bought a pack of razors, cheap razors, which I shouldn't have done. Two goes and they're gone for my little underarms. They're not worth the money, they're really not. They just want binning. I've used up the Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Cream All Over Miracle Oil. This is one that I'd put a serum on and use this. This lasted forever because you put two or three drops on your hands, rub together and just pat on your face. I would repurchase this. This is the Skin Chemist Aqua Repair Facial Serum. Like, so I'd put this on and then this on, and again, it's just a serum. This, my face doesn't feel any difference. I love to be one of them that sees the difference, but I don't. This is why I can switch and swatch and go for different things. Yeah, obviously I will have a serum in my life when it's all the minutes have gone, but I don't know what that's going to be. Um, I've used up two of the Urban Vendor uh, Radiant Exfoliating Face Polish. So I put a face mask on and go in the shower and these are what I use as my face wash. Um, just wash the mask off and give me a bit of an exfoliation. But I only do it a couple of times a week. Don't do any more than that. And I've used up two of my three-in-one makeup removals. These are what I use to take my swatches off. I buy them because it's easier than having a cloth and washing it and all that malarkey. These are really good and really good for that purpose. So the next things that I've got are some face masks. So I've got the Creme Shop Milk Face Mask. I like this. This was really nice. Again, face masks, I don't see a difference. I put them on my skin feels nice. You go and wash the 
stuff off after you've rubbed it into your face. I've used this one up which is the milk face mask. I've used this one up from the creme. I've used up the moisture bar moisture balm from Garnier which is this one. The cooling cucumber and an anti-redness one. So this is the gentle cleansing milk clear and glow. This is really strange and I didn't really like it. It's practically used up. It is used up actually. I'm looking at the bottle. I wouldn't repurchase. It's not for me. I am getting rid of this Matten Instant Fix and Matte. It's just broken to pieces. And I really don't need powders that badly to repress it. I'm getting rid of this Avon Matte Black Chips. And it's no good. Can just go in the bin. Oh, I've used up the deep cleansing from First Aid Beauty with red clay. I actually thought this was a mask when I first got it out. I was like, it's red, it's a mask. No, it's not, it's a face wash, and it's really nice. That was that. I used up the Glam Glow peeling mask. I don't read this at all, I wouldn't pay for it, and I wouldn't be repurchasing it repurchasing it this is the body shop morninga body yogurt and i was like oh it smells really really nice i got a whiff too much before but it's like putting water on you it just soaks into your skin which is really good but I like the cream to sit on my skin and I'm just I'm just not a fan of this so I'm just getting rid of it. I've used up my e.l.f. priming mist which is what was in my project pan. I emptied it, it's done, it wants. Would I rebuy it? No, because I don't like priming mist but I have got another one I think. But this particular one was just nice i've used up the kiko 3d lifting serum so this was what i was concentrating on this was really really nice and i would actually repurchase this but kiko don't do it anymore so i've used up the manu firming moisturizer again on top of my oil i put this like I said, I've got a lot of these moisturisers, so I've used up two of the samples. One is OUI Juicy Couture. It's just a mini. The I use these in one go. And then I used up the Blot Bloom in the Citrus Scent. It's a little bottle. Again, after shower, get ready. And I just throw it at myself because it ain't got a squirty on it. I used it, I wouldn't buy it. So this is the pink clay mask from the body shop. I do love this, I really do. When I take my five back, it we toss up between the rose mask and the blue mask that I like. But yeah, this is really, really good. I've used up my Max Strobe Cream in Lum the Lumiere one. I wouldn't buy this. I wouldn't buy a full of one of these because I'm not that into it. And this is where we're getting onto the makeup. So guys, I have got lip glosses that I am getting rid of because they smell, they have, they just all smell wrong. So this is the sugar bomb, it, it is wrong. The Gerald Cosmetic one, I've used this once and it and this is probably only just two years old love the color used it a couple of times these are the um rimmel show off ones again the three colors again they've gone off and then this is the stay glossy 3d from rimmel it's gone off 
I don't even think I've used it. This is the colour 24 hour eyeshadow and this is just dried out, it really has. Um, I've got some off but nothing compared to what it should be, it's totally dried out so that's going in the bin. This uh, gel effect nail varnish, I don't even think I can get it open but it doesn't even move. So that's going in the bin. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills like brown one. I've lost the cap, I think the cap's in the box. I actually bought this one for my daughter. She liked it but not as much as the micro one. She prefers the micro one. I don't mind this because I've got no brows. She just needs to fill in slightly less. So I've used up my Hula Quickie Contour. Oh God, this was in my project pan. I'm not one of them that's going to scrape it out. I've also used up my e.l.f. under eye setting powder. Really love this, really do. So I went because my AOA go brow in this is I thought was clear and it's white, it's not what I want. So that's going, but it's going in the bin. And this one won't even come off. So I was like, it's only 90 summit P, so just not for me. This uh, sugar lip scrub from Beauty Treats. All natural lips. Oh, this was disgusting. Really was absolutely disgusting. Did not like. It's got a horrible smell to it. The sugar. Oh, it's just no. I had this one in my hand bag. This is the antioxidant lip balm. This is again. It's gone off and it, I, no. This is a Crystal Bright Lipstick Eyeshadow Pencil and it's like this. And I thought, oh, that'd be beautiful. What am I gonna do with why? I don't know why I bought it, to be honest with you. But it's going in the bin. I've thrown away these two glitters, liners. They are dried. But these are extremely, extremely old. You can see on the brush. I'm getting rid of these two. This is the Body Shop Strawberry Lip Butter. I did try to use this. And then it dried out. It's gone all lumpy. And look, you can see the bits in it. I went, I've had enough of that. I bought one of the Revolution Pro Eye Concealers in Court. I use this probably twice and it's dried. Not impressed, but at all. I've got the Too Faced Shadow Insurance Anti-Crease Eyeshadow. Um, I didn't use this one up, but when I put it on my eyes, you could tell it wasn't coming out properly it's all bitty it's there it's all bitty it's not nice it's not the formula that i was that i'm now used to this is nelbury london um cuticle oil cuticle cream again it's gone really funny and look it's like so this is the perversion mascara took me a while to use this even though it was a sample and I would repurchase this but I've got a lot of mascaras to go through but if I got it again I wouldn't be mad because I do really really like this one this is the mark I create I a shadow again it's gone odd and I haven't got the patience to revive it if I did would I use it and I only think I've swatched this and it went on me. Wouldn't waste my money on these. So I'm getting rid of this eyeshadow. It's a gorgeous colour. I don't use it. I'm just gonna it's gonna go to go to um some children's charity that I send my products to. This is the Clinique lip balm and scrub. Now the scrub went odd as you can see. I used quite a bit of it but then it just got hard, hard and then the lip balm I've cleared it 
it's really really nice the only thing i don't like about it is you have to dip your finger in this is a white eyeliner i tried this and it looks like it's swatches put it on your eyes it disappears it's not it's not even worth giving to somebody and then last but no means least is the hd brows look fantastic and i've tried but they they just don't work for me they're too see this is too dark that's a nice blush but am i going to keep an old palette for an orangey colored blush no because we've got orange colored blush so this again will be going with the eyeshadow to somebody else so guys that was a really long one i know but i just wanted to get it all down get it all out and i can start afresh and bring you another one in a few months time hopefully you guys enjoyed this massive de some declutter massive empties should i say and if you did give us a thumbs up would much appreciate it any comments um these are all my personal opinions on these products if you love them brilliant but what worked for me worked what didn't didn't so yeah guys i will see you in my next video thanks so much for watching bye